we have our content model set up and our React component set up. Uh, we need to link the contentful data to our app to make it dynamic. But first, since we're still in the web app, I need to create uh, a couple of articles about my last two trips. So we click add entry and then post. My first trip was in Sardinia, which is my favorite island in Italy. For the title, it would be Sardinia. For content, I will just paste in some text I have here. For the author, I will create and link a one uh, here. So we create. I will just type in my full name since I am the author of this article and some description here uh, for the website it will be my website for the avatar I will create an asset and link it here the title I will call it avatar and then I open the file picker and then add an asset from my computer so I will test up stuff and then add this avatar picture here okay now the asset is created let's hit publish and then go back editing our author um, content and everything looks fine so let's publish our author and then go back again to the main entry which is the article and as you can see here the author is linked and the publish date I'll just put today's date and for the featured image I will go ahead and add a picture I took in Sardinia from my computer and here it is okay the image is here and as you can see the title is automatically picked from the image uh, uh, file name so that should be fine so we publish and then go, go back to our main entry and as you can see the featured image is linked here so let's say it's publish go back to the list let's create another uh, post about my second trip to Prague in Czech Republic uh, to do that we can do simply add an entry and then go to post or we just duplicate the previous article so we hit we select it and then hit duplicate and as you can see here we have uh, two uh, articles this is the previous one since it's published and this is the new one the duplicate so the title will be Prague for the content I will just go ahead and paste some text I have here For the author it will stay the same but for the image uh, I just delete this old one and add a new one and then here I will pick one uh, file from my computer which is this picture and the title is Praha and then click publish and then we need to go back to the main uh, entry editing so everything should be fine the date should stay the same and then we should hit publish okay with that out of the way uh, now we need to do some coding let's stop our web pack server and since uh, we will need uh, the SDK to work with the, the data so make it really easier to 
grab all the content and filter it and do more uh, nice features that you will need later so I will go ahead and install it npm install contentful and then save it as a dependency and hit enter Okay, now we have contentful installed. Let's go to the GitHub page and copy the snippet that we need. So first, we need to require contentful, and then in the article list here, let's add that, and then go back again to the, the snippet and then copy this one. Here we need to create the client, but in the component did mount. And then we paste the code here. We just fix some annotation. As you can see here, we need a space and we need the access token. And to get that, we need to go back to the web app and then go to the API sections. In the API section, there's the content delivery. This is the token that we'll be using. So let's copy the space ID and then paste it here. Go back and get our content delivery API. So we'll copy that and then paste this here. So the SDK is uh, props based. So to get all the entries uh, that it's based on the post content type, we can do this by typing client, get entries, and then pass in a query object containing content underscore type and then here we specify post. Post is the content type that contains the uh, article that any article entry is based on. And then here we type in then. Here we'll have a response object. And then when we uh, receive the response object, there's um, an array called items inside of it. That's the list of our entries. So we should set the state. Let's call our array like articles, and then it will be response dot articles dot items. Sorry. Okay, we need also to set the initial state. We can do that in the constructor. And then here we type in this.state articles and then we can set it to an empty array. And then we need also to call super. So that done, here we need to change this code, so uh, no longer creating like dummy uh, article list item. So we go in the render method and then since we have access to our articles in state, and then we need to map that array to uh, an, uh, an array of uh, article list items, of component of article list items. So here we receive uh, an article and then we can have uh, the index. We we'll use the index for uh, having a unique key for each article. And then here we just take this and paste it here. And then we need also to pass in the article object to the article list item so we can uh, fill in uh, the data. So here we write article. And then we delete this. And then set the uh, article.
particles related to uh, this uh, result here. We save this and we go ahead to the article list item to do some changes. First, we no longer export the class directly, so we export it here. And then we need to define the uh, prop types uh, for our component. So we do article list item dot prop types. And then here we specify that the article list item will have a property called article of type object. We need to import the prop types here from React. And then we hit save. Okay, so first of all, let's fill in, go through the data and then fill in uh, all the dummy content like title, uh, content, etc. with the data coming from Contentful. So here, since we have uh, the article inside of the props, so let's e extract it actually. From the props. And then here, this would be an article dot fields dot title for our text this will be article sorry we need the brackets here and here also okay the content will be article dot fields dot content so the alt image will use the uh, author uh, full name so here we have article dot fields and inside the fields we have an author object and the SDK will do a nice thing and fill in all the data of the author inside of fields of the article so it do it will do the resolve of the linking automatically for you so that way we can you can have access to the fields right away so fields and then it will be full name and then also this needs to be inside of brackets and then we delete this So for the name here, we need to change that. For the image, we need to change that also to author of fields dot avatar. Remember that we named the picture field as avatar, and then inside of the um, asset, we'll have also fields. And then inside of that, there is a file object that contains the URL, which is the URL to the image. And here we can get the date. So we do article fields publish date. And that should be it. So let's test that do npm start okay everything should be fine and then we go to our website and refresh and as you can see here we have our new content coming from Contentful. So we, if we inspect also the image of the author here, as you can see the origin is like 460 by 460 and we scale it client side. But fortunately uh, also Contentful is providing a really nice image API 
so we can actually tell content to give us a 50 by 50 from this image and the night what's nice about that also uh, once it's scaled it will keep a copy of that scaled image so next time it, you can get it uh, even faster so let's do that inside of the article list item we go to our uh, URL here and then we append to it the two uh, parameters like the width we need 50 and we want a height of 50 pixels if we hit save and everything works fine we can receive now an image with 50 by 50 and no need to scale uh, as you can see here now it's like 50 by 50 coming from a content form let's go back to the code now uh, as you can see we have the data from contentful and it's filled in to our uh, in our website but it's not that super efficient uh, let's say we we'll need more components so maybe we'll need also to create other clients and so on so uh, in the next video uh, i'll show you how to link the list uh, article list to uh, another component which is showing the detail of your article once you click on it and also how to have one central client that is providing the data through all uh, your react uh, application